What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, this is not where we ended up in the last episode, but I needed to do it because, well, when is a better time? So, in our last episode, we went straight to, I guess, the, the cavern where, you know, Kyogre is located. He's just a little angry, and now we have a massive rainstorm, possibly kind of like a hurricane or something and uh well now it is time for us to stop him but before we do anything i kind of wanted to do this episode because well we might not get a chance to do it so i went into the shoal cave and as you guys can see we are on low tide meaning that yes we can actually uh we can actually finish this whole thing up so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing right here uh yeah the whole world is in peril and we're here locating freaking uh Shoal shots and shoal cells and stuff. Yeah, that is a... that I, I don't know. What kind of a hero am I? I don't know. Now, I did say there is a specific Pokemon here that I would love to capture. But for right now, I'm just going to put it put on the, re, the the repel because, well, you know, there's just... There's just a few things that I kind of want to do right here. Like, grab those shells. Yeah. We kind of need a shell bell and all that stuff. We do have a Pokemon that can uh, break rocks and whatnot. And there are some specific items right here that we can actually get to. Always awesome. Always great. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's grab this. Bam. We grabbed ourselves a Shoshaltz. Shoshaltz. I don't even know how to say it. I don't even know how to say it properly because, you know, it, it's, it's too many S's in one thing. And, well, we got a Pokemon wanting us to capture it it kind of sounds like a different pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and see what this pokemon is all about okay so the pokemon in question is a celio yes you can actually find celios and uh i believe they're pre-vol forms right here too uh no i am not going to capture it because well yeah i kind of don't need it right now so let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure right here and, uh, well, here we are in a different area. Now, uh, I, I've said this in the last few episodes that I've always had issues with trying to get to the low, uh, the low tide of the, 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 the Shoal Cave just because, well, you know, it's just my luck. It really is just my luck. And, uh, you know, luckily for us, we still have time management right here onto the Nintendo 3DS. So, I, I, I guess, it, you know, it... it I'm a, I'm a little bit fortunate just to do this right now. Um, I mean, shoot. Oh, wait, there is a Pokemon right here that is calling my name. Where can I find this Pokemon? And it is close by. This is a... Oh, wow. Okay, level 34. And let's see what kind of Pokemon we're looking at. So, as you guys can see, we are in front of a snow run. This is important because, well... It is a female snow runt, and uh, I kind of want to capture it because, oh well, yeah, this Pokemon, I, 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 I feel as though he might be an integral part of our team. Plus, I kind of want to just like scatter all these Pokemon. I kind of want to use every different kind of Pokemon, and as you guys can see, it has Ice Fang. It has uh, a whole bunch of moves and all that stuff. Uh, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the man that just mooches off our uh, off our experience points, off our hard work, and that is, yes, our good old buddy, Linoon. And here comes an Ice Fang. Holy crud. Oh, my God. So, yes, we, we, we're getting hit like nobody's business. Uh, so, let's go right ahead and weaken this Pokemon. And look at that. More Ice Fangs. Why must you be so painful? Why must you be so annoying? So, here we go. Cut attack for the win. And buckets. Yeah, I kind of made that Pokemon faint. So that, that wasn't the intention. But I, I I guess, you know, that is the Pokemon that I really want to capture. Uh, just, you know, for the team and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. And he's like, uh, penetrating cold in these parts is, in, is impotent or impediment to training. But with focus, one can overcome it. Take this focus band, buckle down, and you'll be set to withstand a, this blasted cold. And, well, there you go. We got ourselves a focus band. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and keep on grabbing some shoal shots and shoal shells and, you know, everything else in between. And uh, I think I've already been right here. No. 
So it looks like we need a Pokemon with strength. Thankfully, we do have that Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and just push, push, and keep on pushing because we're just pushing. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Keep it going. And holy crud. Okay, so it looks like we screwed up. We kind of do need a... Uh, well, we do we, we do need a different way, and that was a that wasn't a Pokemon we needed. Uh, let's see, let's go right up here, and it looks like we're gonna be finding some more Shoshalts. Yes. Okay, so the world is in utter terror right now, and peril, I should say, and uh, yeah, we're just screwing around right here, and uh, yeah, do I have anything to say about that? No, not really. I. Uh, Oh, there is a Pokemon right now that wants us to capture it. Let's see, where the heck are you? See, I hate trying to capture Pokemon in a cave because their location is so random, and if you don't pick the right spots, they're just going to be, like, running away. Or if you're in, like, the bottom floor and it has to be captured on the top floor, that that right there just, yeah, it's never so good. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use another Repel because we don't need to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So what if I go right here? And, uh, yes, we do need a mock bike, and thankfully, we have it. Okay, so that would have been that would have been awkward. So, here it is, guys. We got ourselves a TM-79 Frost Breath. And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to go downstairs right here. And this is the location that is very, very interesting, because this is the bottom floor towards the um, Shoal Cave, and it's all made of ice. Yes, you can actually find some ice-type Pokemon right here, and uh, hopefully I am lucky enough to actually find the Pokemon that I really want. As many of you guys already know, I am uh, I am looking forward to grabbing uh, as many Pokemon as possible, using them, showcasing them, and all that crud, and well, damn it. Okay, so we can't go there because, of course, it's snow, or it's there's ice, and well, we go right here, and... There you go. Okay, so here we found ourselves the TM-07, and that is hail, whether base defense, whether, whether base uh, move that can actually help you out if you're an ice-type trainer. Uh, one of the, so the funny thing is, guys, one of the Pokemon typings that I never really use or hardly use is, uh, is ice-type Pokemon. I don't know why. The go-to ice-type ice Pokemon that I, I would always go was uh, Lapras, and, uh, you know, I figured that, well, since we are playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire, I should say, um, might as well use a different Ice-type Pokemon, and, well, would you look at that, there is something sparkling right there, and, uh, well, let's see. Now, remember, in, in Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X and Y, you can actually go side to side instead of left and right, towards this area so if you go right here towards the bottom floor of the shoal cave and you'll find this right here you'll be finding a galilee light a galati tight i cannot pronounce it right but yes there it is we got this and uh who knows we might just capture that pokemon we failed the last time and well would you look at this if you touch this it's a rock covered in ice touching it could make you freeze that right there can actually evolve a uh, what was it called uh, an Eevee if you have it well if you let it grow a level right here and uh, well we're just gonna keep on going on right here and uh, I think we've already completed everything I could be wrong there might be one thing that I'm missing I don't know huh again the world is in peril and I'm here bum like I'm, I'm, I'm being a bum just trying to find different Pokemon and you know, trying to find the mystery of the Shoal Cave. Yeah, that's just me. That's good old Draven. And uh, that wasn't the Pokemon that we needed. So let's go right ahead and push this uh, rock all out of the way. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and press that. There we go. We're pressing. We are pressing. We are pressing. And would you look at that? Alrighty. Okay. And there is a familiar sound. And well, we gotta we gotta locate this Pokemon. And no, oh, are you kidding me? This is okay. This is what I mean. Oh my God. Where? Oh, oh, come on. You see, this is what I mean right here, guys. Pokemon are downstairs, and if we jump off this ledge, 
this Pokemon will disappear. We have to wait until... Okay, right there. Until it disappears into the, uh, into the ground in order for us to find it. And, well, this guy is daring us. So, where are you? There you go. Okay, and let's see if this is the right Pokemon we need. Come on! And here is a snow runt. I'm kind of looking for a female right here. And yes, it is a female. So let's go right ahead and just throw a dust ball since it's both nighttime and we're inside of a cave. And come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. Be cool. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, this Pokemon is uh, not it's not being our friend right now. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Come on. Dust ball. Let's go. And stay in there. Come on. Be cool. Don't be lame. Stay with us. Damn you. Okay, so this Pokemon is not liking us right now. Of course, Tommy JDF can withstand anything. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Come on. Stay in there. Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay, so this Pokemon is not making it easy just because it's at level 34 and everything else. So let's. Oh, wow. We're frozen. Yeah, joke's on you. Um, oh, wow. We. Oh, wow. We wasted all our dust balls. Oh, my God. This is going to be. This is going to bother me for the. Like, this is going to bother me. Okay, so let's go with. I've already used a, res, a repel or res, uh, repeat ball right here. Good gravy. This is what happens when you have OCD. All right, timer ball. Do your work. And come on. Stay in the ball. Don't be lame. Be with us. And throwing out that peace sign. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So, there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a fro or a, uh, a snow runt. And uh, this is because, well, yeah, we kind of needed it. So here it is, guys, a female snow runt. This is a, this snow hat Pokemon. It is an ice type. Snow runt survives by eating only snow and ice. Old folklore claims that a house visit by this Pokemon is sure to prosper for many gener generations to come. So let's go right ahead and give it a good nickname. Hmm. You know what? Since I'm since I want to use both snow runs. I'm gonna be doing this since we, you know, we're in Hoenn. Let's go right ahead and give it the name Frost because of Mortal Kombat. If you guys don't remember, our main Nick trick and our Absol are named after Mortal Kombat characters, so we might as well just use, you know, Mortal Kombat names right here for some specific Pokemon. So this Pokemon has been sent to Team One, and uh, well, we will be seeing you pretty soon here. Anywho. I think that is pretty much it right there. I kind of want to capture a male snow run just to, just for the just for the fun of it because, well, I I do I do want to have both of them. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go off screen, capture the male snow run, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's going to be a while before we capture that Pokemon, but it looks like to me that we can capture it even in, even in high tide. So I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy now. He says that I have enough of the shoal, sh the shoal salts and the shoal shells. So let's go right ahead and have him make some uh, a shell bell right here. And as you guys already know, shell bell is basically a leftovers. And if you put that to a Pokemon, yes, it will chime and it will recover your Pokemon. And you can get as many shoal salts and shoal shells and get shell bells and all that stuff. So as you guys can see, once you do that, he will be giving you the Slowbro Knight, which, uh, well... That right there can help a slow bro. Anywho, let us move on. That is like what? Six? Seven? Seven, uh, yeah, seven, uh. We got seven mega stones right there and all. So, yes, I am excited about this. And, uh, well, yeah. We are in peril and all that stuff. Holy buckets. Okay. So, we're gonna be moving on. And, uh,. Well, we're going to be pausing it right here. In the next episode, guys, we're going to be continuing our adventure to Sutopolis City. So you do not want to miss this one. It's going to be a fun one. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for being supportive as always. I'll be right back with you for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.